Gypsy. Very sad. 
Um, go into like the four and then hold center. How I want to add, I'm making the four commandments and to add the following verbatim language now, into. Word, as stated earlier, three at least consecutive times, uh, the council has voted to not do verbatim minutes. I aware. I aware that the council already voted not to have the verbatim, language, <coughs> verbatim minute minutes. This is different with. My motion, and my motion is to will be up to me. How do I actually read the motion? So the motion, <coughs> the motion I make it, and my motion is to add the following verbatim language into the meeting minute for the world session on November 28. Council and I talk about the benefit of the new policy. And the monitor function in the new in the new policy. Very simple. Motion passed. I'm going to make the last memo. This is number five. Yes. I'm making the fifth memo. I'm making the memo to add the following verbatim language. I'm calling out the word as stated four consecutive times. The council. Not to be verbatim minutes, and upon class of city council, we choose not to do so. Mr. Mayor, I already explained it's the difference between the meeting minutes record, the recording of the meeting minutes, and the recording of the motion. So I'm making the fifth amend motion to add the following verbatim language into the meeting minutes of Walt Saxon on November 29th. 2022. Council can say that she have been asking for the exhibit aid um, because the package provided to the council doesn't have is along with the resolution 2022-05. The hard copy of the exhibit will be given to council plan 80 minutes after the meeting started. Council can answer five. Emphasize that the means of the interaction coming on city Facebook should not be taken away. She also concerned about the city blocking Facebook user. She also raised the concern that the com common function have been blocked on the city Facebook happened before the resolution is passed. She stated that the city should not be interfered with the freedom of speech. She asked for having the administrators access to the city Facebook. The city manager said she will go into email the information to her after the meeting. She then asked if the mayor or if any council member had the access to the city Facebook. Go ahead, sir. Motion to go back to the original motion. You're probably saying all those in favor say aye, Ms. Knight. Aye. Ms. Dean. Aye. Ms. Kwa. Aye. Ms. May the Most meeting fair. minutes doesn't reflect what actually happened during the meeting, and it doesn't provide the transparency to public well, the on how the, the, the impact on how the, the, the elected um, official discuss and make the decision. But the good news is we've got some great stuff on the police department. So, <laughs> Chief. If it's all right with council, uh, the chief would like to uh, explain a little event that occurred in the city last night. Oh, this will be done. Okay. <laughs> if we hadn't um, lost the mass sessions, we could have uh, made some additional points. You're not going to believe this in the city. Um, so, uh, how y'all doing? Uh, Yesterday we were contacted by the uh, fire chief uh, in reference to a uh, an explosion that occurred in front of 1298 Burbank Trail. Uh, the explosion uh, was from an IED, which is IED is basically anything that is not something that you could purchase. It's made to explode. It's basically the basic definition of an IED. Uh, the fire department arrived first, 
saw a need to have us there as well uh, while they were uh, working the scene and everything. We started to do some investigation with their help and we discovered the person who resided at 1298 Burbank Trail had admitted to um, making the IED and exploding it in the streets. It uh, threw a um, through shrapnel and uh, bomb fragments up to 65 feet away. Uh, it rattled windows and doors up to 10 houses away from there. Uh, we immediately placed the subject in custody and uh, Detectives Tate and Detective Foe went and secured a search warrant. Uh, Captain Beard and I stayed at the residence to make sure nobody came or left the residence while they were securing this search warrant. We contacted Clayton County Emergency Exposal Assistance, sorry, the EOD unit, I'll just use that, how about that? Uh, the EOD unit who came out, uh, they were on standby until we found something on the inside. We located, we executed the search warrants, we located um, almost immediately three more IEDs in the house. Um, so we quickly exited the house, uh, took the resident out of the house, the, uh, the female that was there, um, who was a longtime girlfriend of his, they're not married. Got her out with her hats, uh, because obviously it wasn't safe to be in there. We uh, offered to put her in a, ho in, in a hotel, because uh, obviously she wasn't gonna be able to return back until this was taken care of. And EOD went in to clear the house of, um, there was a lot of ordnance and most of it was um, World War II ordnance. Uh, he was a collector of World War II memorabilia, but there was three man-made IEDs in there that were exactly like the IED up front. Clayton County secured these IEDs. Um, once that was clear, we started the search again to make sure that uh, there was a lot of stuff to cover. This guy was a collector, it was more like a hoarder. There was a lot of stuff in there. It took a long time to search it. Uh, during the search, we located um, some devices that turned out to be inert, which is uh, non explosive and everything. Uh, we didn't need to have uh, EOD back out, but we found a large quantity of marijuana um, in excess of three quarters of a pound, uh, packaged for sale. Um, and within 10 feet of this marijuana, we found a hidden wall with a safe behind it. Uh, we accessed the hidden wall. We asked the, we called the female occupant for the combination. She refused to give it to us. So we contacted a safe cracker and we got in the safe. Uh, inside the safe was more drugs. Commingled with the drugs was in excess of $179,000 cash. Uh, approximately $250,000 to $300,000 worth of gold and silver. Uh, Moral Police Department seized those from ill-gotten gains. Uh, we will be filing uh, seizure paperwork on them with the assistance of the district attorney and with uh, the CID who has really stepped up. And, um, we're charging, uh, he was already in jail on the first IED. He's being charged with today. He's already been charged with an additional three IEDs and uh, with a possession of marijuana with the intent to distribute. Some of the people that were on scene that need to be recognized because this was really a, um, like I said, in conjunction with the fire department, had the fire department not seen the need for this, we would have never known about it. So they're the ones that started the ball rolling. Clayton County EOD unit, um, Fire Marshal Piper, who stayed there the entire time with the search warrant from 3.30 in the afternoon until 4.30 in the morning, this morning. Uh, Brand from Public Works came from home, left his family, set up some uh, portable light systems for us to be able to operate that out there in the yard. Uh, Detective Tate, Detective Foe were the lead detectives on this. Basically, we were there to assist them. They were the ones that took the initiative and made this happen. Major Woodall, Captain Beard, all of the C team, which is our morning watch led by Lieutenant Rodriguez, Sergeant Paskey, Officer Kirby, and Officer Burrell. Without them, this wouldn't have been done. 
collective efforts. And uh, this just shows you what, uh, I mean, we've got fire department, public works, and the police department all in one scene. I mean, if that's not a collective effort, I don't know what it is. And uh, I'm really proud of what everybody did, and they should be proud of themselves.
for our new guys. He's also served as an officer in charge when we needed someone to step up and, and fill that position when we were short. Um, officer Paskey has worked tirelessly. Uh, he's came in many days on his off days. Uh, he came in and actually worked Thanksgiving, which he was scheduled to be off to help cover his shift. Because of his dedication, his hard work, and his mentorship that he's been given the guys that's on his, on his team, it is my pleasure to promote him to the rank of sergeant here with the City of Warren Police Department. CID Uniform Patrol was promoted to Sergeant OB Uniform Patrol, correct? Background in recruiting. Uh, when she came to us last year, July, she was the sergeant over our community engagement unit and also over our background in recruitment. In August of this year, we made a move and changed her assignment a little bit and put her on morning watch as a sergeant on C team. While she's been on C team, she has mentored the young guys. Um, she's actually been over uh, Kirby and Officer Fortune, some of our, our newest employees here. She's done a great job in mentoring them and, and keeping C team, the team, right? Is that what you call it? <laughs> C team, the team. Um, she is an integral part of our, of our department right now. Uh, I don't think it's been it's been a little while since I've been here, since we've had a female lieutenant uh, with the city of Morrow, so I can't remember if it was 15, 20 years ago we had one, but we haven't had one since I've been here, and I've been here about 15 years, so tonight I'd like to congratulate Melanie on her promotion to the rank of lieutenant. <laughs> cases he solved and his detectives have solved but I want something I want to bring something to note that I dear near to my heart um, is Lieutenant Skelton just uh, accomplished a great feat in achieving his Masters of Art degree Woo! a lot of big words so if you ask <laughs> Lieutenant Skelton you know Why'd you do this? Uh, you know, he can come right out and say he wants my job someday. Uh -huh. He wants 
chief's job someday. So, and that's what you want to hear as a they manager. Didn't. You want to hear your employees try to better themselves and one day take our jobs because we're not going to be here forever. My time's coming to an end. Uh, and these are the guys and gals that are going to take our spots. And to hear someone say that, it's, it's a great thing. Um, you know, Lieutenant Skelton is what we call a uh, adult learner. So he manages his job, which is he manages employees and this big job. He manages a household with him and his wife, manage the numerous children they have, and going to school at the same time, out of paying for it out of his pocket. So that is a awesome thing. Um, and I just wanted to get that out to say that. I'm very proud of him for doing that. Congratulations on the team. Speech! Speech! Woohoo! Woo! Speech! We're going to give you that basket, but I'm not going to ask you to hold it. Okay. That's a great picture. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Yeah! So for those of you who brought friends and family and they want pictures, you're welcome to use up here. Um, put anybody in the skit that you would like. Uh, kick anybody out that you don't. And we'll give you about five minutes. Uh, the coffee's still good in the back. Um, enjoy yourself and we'll start in, in about five minutes. Okay. But please, take pictures. I mean, these will be the ones you hang on the wall later. Um, that'll mean something to you. Come on, Carver, get up here. <laughs> you like your picture taken. Come take your picture. Okay. All the YouTube viewers are watching the back of your noggin. It's cute though. It's a cute noggin. One, one Pasky, get a team photo. Oh, you better just see. I look actually a little this way. Like I did not take her on my way. All right, ready in three. One more. Hi. Is this the Facebook one? Okay, that was on this side, right? Cute. Okay. Okay, go on. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, she can't. Oh. Do you want to take a picture? Oh. You got to kind of step up before tall. This is going to look like Oh. Get, get, get tall. I don't know what we're looking at. Everyone look at the clock.
business, uh, we have added a resolution in 2207, which is to provide a performance bonus to our full-time employees, our part-time employees, and our employees. I've had that before. Do you have a motion to approve? So here's the second. Second. Motion probably seconded. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Ms. Quah? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. And Ms. Knight? Aye. Motion carries in the house. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Approval of the city manager's recommendation for 2023 workers' compensation insurance and cancer policy renewal at $114,000 and to authorize the mayor to execute any agreement or any other related documents. You have that before you. Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion probably seconded. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Mr. Paul? Aye. Ms. Trent? Aye. Mr. Kerry's name is Item 2. Uh, approval of city manager's recommendation to accept the bid from Jefferson Architecture for district and theater design, uh, totaling twelve thousand five hundred, and we realize that that's a retainer, and to authorize the mayor to execute any agreement and other related documents. You have that before you. Do I hear motions to approve? So, do I hear second? Second. Motion properly seconded. All those in favor say aye. Mr. Knight. Aye. Mr. Quah. Aye. Ms. Dean. Aye. And Ms. Chan. Abstain the vote. An abstention is yes. Motion carries. Approval of city manager's recommendation to accept bid from Martin Construction for the event space floor ceiling and epoxy totaling one hundred seventy-two thousand dollars and to authorize the mayor to execute any agreement and other related documents. You've had that before. You do have a motion to approve. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion properly seconded. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Name. Aye. Ms. Qua. Aye. Ms. Dean. Aye. Ms. Tran. Nay. An adequate document will provide it. The city attorney has not uh, reviewed the bits. I am not uh, informed to cast the vote. Motion carries. Item 4. Uh, approve the city manager's recommendation to accept the bid from Iron Construction for the construction and remodeling of Monitor Center, totaling $485,575. This comes out of spot 2014 and authorizes the mayor to execute any agreement and other related documents. We have that before us. Do you hear a motion to approve? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion probably seconded. All those in favor say aye. Ms. Knight? Aye. Ms. Dean? Aye. Ms. Clark? I have to know what I'm about. And Ms. Train? No inadequate information will be provided. No agreement. Uh, council has not seen the agreement. Uh, nor the city attorney reviewed the bits information. I'm not informed to cast the vote. You may make it over Councilman Coab abstain. That gives the three votes necessary for the motion to pass. Motion carries. Approval of city manager's recommendation to accept bid from PDP restoration totaling four hundred and forty seven thousand dollars for the construction of permanent restroom facilities at the Morrow event at Dark Space and authorize the mayor to execute any agreement and other related documents that's also the remaining of the 2014 spots. Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion properly seconded. All those in favor say aye, Ms. Knight. Aye. Mr. Paul. Aye. Ms. Dean. Aye. And Ms. Tran. May an adequate information provided to the bid. Uh, uh, the agreement is not provided to the council, and the city attorney have not revealed this information. I'm not informed to cast the vote. Item 4 ordinances and resolutions. I read the first reading the last time. Um, this basically does some small modifications to the alcoholic beverage um, section of the city. Um, as stated earlier, there's a section in there that allows very large. Um, sections to uh, of, of uh, cosmetology, beautician shops, or otherwise to be able to sell, not sell, to complement and allow um, uh, the, the giving of uh, the glass of wine or otherwise it's not visible. Do I hear a motion to approve? Do I hear a second? Second. I should probably second it. All those in favor say aye. Mr. Mayor, could you open to the discussion? I have a tremendous amount of patience, but I'm checking to see if I have any left. No. Uh, no. Uh, when we make the changes on alcohol batteries, um, not the nail and hair salon, but uh, other uh, sex and in 
the ordinance regarding uh, where the alcohol being sold. Uh, we talk when we say alcohol, does that mean just alcohol and liquor? liquor? You, you have a, an ordinance, and the ordinance was available in the last couple of weeks. We had a first reading. You know, there's going to be some language changes um, in terms of from the original ordinance, then a slight modification, which is what first readings and second readings are for. In other words, you know, before we pass it, we're kind of curious to see what you think, um, or somebody else for that matter. Um, and if you just happen to have a, hey, while you're doing it, what do you think? Oh, we can fix it, we should fix it. And that's what you're seeing with the, the, the section related to, you know, um, salons. As far as the second section and going through there, particularly highlighting every change between that and from the first section, I'll just be honest with you, um, I can't do it off the top of my head. Other questions? City Manager, could you advise us? Did the change the I'm sorry. Did this changes uh, affect going to be liquor or uh, also or just alcohol? Uh, to make it easy on the review, we did the changes in red, so I would have to flip over to work session. Just hang on one second. The first session on section seven refers to. Under Title IX, number seven, it talks about businesses within the Oaktown Arm District, which specifically talks to that that that, that venue. It's an entertainment venue. Changes that it talks about bars and lounges. So yes, liquor would be involved in that if they have a proper liquor license. As far as I think your question is for the hair, hair and nail salons, is that correct? No, no question about the nail and nail salon. That's being answered in the last session. Thank you. Okay. Again, the motion has been properly seconded. So your motion to approve. Ms. Hunt. I, I apologize. Fill me in on where we are. Uh, second, second reading of the ordinance. I, 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 I got to derail. Did, did we, is, is there an active motion that no. has been seconded on the floor? No. Okay. No, no. Right. At this point, it was uh, okay. information at best. Um, we have a properly seconded motion. We're asking for a vote. Okay. Missing. Well, my vote is aye. Missing. You're not. That's what I said. Mr. Clark. Aye. And Ms. Turner. Aye. And carries unanimous. General comments, comments from our citizens. Don't all be to the podium all at one time. Chair. Go ahead. I just want to compliment. I know everybody's gone. Uh, December 21st, blood drive. Wayne, I'll get him. I'll get Wayne. Um, but I want to really seriously uh, compliment the uh, employees that helped with the uh, the Christmas part. I mean, it was just fabulous. It was so good. They really went out and decorated everything. And the little general was driving around. You know, lines were long. Kids were happy. So compliments to everybody that made it special. And Morrow is special. There might be a little hiccups, but that's okay. The fire department, police department, with Brandon over there. You know, we work together. That's how we succeed. Thank you. The L showed up. And the Grinch was a scary guy, too. The Grinch was a scary guy. <laughs> Kids I assure you, it wasn't anybody up here on the council. I know. I know. I know. No, I, I, I looked at him real close and I went, that's confidential. We can't talk about it. He must, he must have been a student, I think. Because he was uh, a young Actually, kid. I think it's an But he scared the heck out of it. I kids. thought it was somebody that they hired that but, had yes. done that before. Uh, I remember I seeing the suit laying on the, the shelf there. Yeah, he I was. Yeah, he, he came in. He was a young kid. He was young. But Santa Claus was real. Yeah, he was real. I got one request. So for all those kids out there, be good because you know. They love it. Other comments? Okay. It's almost the end of the fourth quarter. Can we get the street sweeper out there to get all the darn leaves up? I know leaves are going to still be falling off the trees, 
But oh, we got two weeks, fourth quarter. Can we just do it for Christmas? I mean, we've got all the lights and junk up, but. I'll let Brandon answer that question for But you. no uh, thing, and then we can start <coughs> the first quarter, and we've got three more months there. We can have him come back again. But, I mean, it looks like crap around here. I had Cable reach out to that company this afternoon. Uh, I didn't get back with her before the end of the day. I will reach out to her in the morning. I'll call you and let you know when they're coming. But they will be coming out soon. Pretty nice. Yay. Well, I mean, that's what you Make sure you get your drinks unplugged because it's going to flood. When is the first official day of the winter? Isn't it like December 21st? Getting extra rates. Getting extra rates. Yeah. Comments from the city council? Miss Snap. Miss Trey. Well, all the police officers have done, and a lot of uh, audience has done, but congratulations on the promotion uh, for the officer, and um, congratulations uh, Lieutenant Captain on his 10 year service, as well as the exceptional um, service um, Officer Kirby uh, provided. And overall, thank you for the, um, um, the city staff for the work that you done to help us uh, to provide an excellent um, service to public. Mr. Paul. Um, yeah, the uh, Christmas at the pub was awesome. It was really, really nice. And then um, employee Christmas party last Friday. Was a very nice one. We keep continuing to do better and better every year. That's really uh, nice. I would, I would like to say thanks to, uh, to everybody. Uh, I don't know. I think everybody in the city involved, uh, especially um, Mojita and um, what's her name? Karina. Yeah. Yeah. They both did an awesome job. And, um, I'd like to uh, congratulate you to the police department today. Everybody did an awesome job and I'm um, happy to see that happen in the city. Um, we're proud to, uh, to have them um, to, to be, I mean, I'm proud to be a part of this. But, um, we serve, we just know that regular police, you know, department that go out there and arrest people, but um, we also, I've seen them out there, you know, making our citizen um, come for them and helping them in any kind of way um, they can yesterday. Um, there, there was a young kid, um, about 18 years old, he was, um, behind my restaurant for like a week, so we, uh, you know, I didn't know who we were, and, and my manager there probably, you know, concerned about it and called PD, I come out, and uh, Officer Lamb come out and talk to them and discover that the vehicle, the guy who was 18 years old, he got kicked out by his family for some reason, we don't know. But, uh, it's probably that the vehicle doesn't have insurance, so, uh, and um, he did have Officer Lamb offer him, you know, help and everything, and have him call the relative, come pick him up, and all that kind of stuff. That, that made us who we are, and uh, I'm very proud of that. Thank you. Thanks. Um, yes, I would like to uh, just congratulate the, um, the officers for the uh, promotion, which is um, greatly deserved uh, for what they do for us. Um, Chief, thank you for um, what you and your department does. I know it's not, um, you know, something you know, nine to five. You don't know what you're going to get until you, until you're there. And I, Brandon, um, your guys were feeling proud of us on my street. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes.
So the potholes are being filled as we speak. Yeah, so, this is kind of one pothole at a time. One pothole at a time. So thanks to all the staff. Thank you, B, for keeping me connected. <laughs> Yay! That's it. Excellent. Um, yeah. No comments. Um, <laughs> we're, we're moving in a direction that makes some sense, and uh, let's keep right on going. Yes. 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 Yes.